everyone, it's Marissa from BumblebeeApothecary.com and today I'm going to show you my favorite way to make pork spare ribs. So this is a very easy way to make pork spare ribs in the oven, so let's jump in and get started. I'm going to start by preheating my oven to 275 degrees Fahrenheit. To make ribs this way in the oven, you can use a roasting pan with a lid. You can use a Dutch oven. I love using my cast iron Dutch oven, so I'm just going to be doing that. So I'm going to go ahead and just put my ribs into my cast iron Dutch oven, and I'm going to end up putting salt and pepper on both sides. I have two pieces, so I'm just going to unwrap them both and put them in there, and then salt and pepper both sides. Okay, and then that's really all the prep that it needs for this stage. Just toss them in there with salt and pepper on both sides, put a lid on, and then they're going to go into the oven. And then they're gonna be in there for three to four hours is usually how long it takes. I'm gonna check on them after three hours and see if they're starting to be nice and tender to where they're starting to fall off the bone and all of that. Um, so I will show you that step once they're ready to come out of the oven, but three to four hours is what I plan on. Okay, while the ribs are finishing cooking and while I'm getting some other things going for sides, I'm also going to go ahead and mix up the homemade barbecue sauce that I'm going to be using. So first, I'm going to just add some ketchup. So this can be homemade ketchup. I have a recipe video on that. Or it can be something like this Primal Kitchen unsweetened ketchup like I'm using this time. So I'm going to put about half of a cup of that into my pitcher. And then to that, I'm going to add about two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. Next, I'm going to add some paprika. So I'm just gonna eyeball these spices, but I'm gonna say that's probably about half a teaspoon, half a teaspoon of paprika. A little bit of brown sugar, so teaspoon or two. Now, um, if you are on gaps, you would want to substitute raw honey or date syrup for the sugar. I'm also going to add a little sprinkle of salt. Next, I'm going to add some mustard powder again, probably about half a teaspoon. I'm going to add a little bit of coriander. I don't have much coriander, so I would probably add about quarter of a teaspoon of that, but I'm just sprinkling what I have in there. And then I'm going to add about a teaspoon of dried oregano, about a teaspoon of garlic powder, and a teaspoon of onion powder. That makes just one possible version of the homemade barbecue sauce that I like to make. So I'm just going to mix that up and then I'm going to let it sit in the refrigerator while I'm working on other parts of the meal just so that the flavors can start to kind of combine. And then when it's time to actually use this, I will show you that step. Okay, so the main cook time for the ribs is finished and I'm gonna show you the next step. Okay, so there is an optional final step for these if you would like and that is to brush the barbecue sauce on them and put them back in the oven to broil for three to four minutes. So not all of us are going to have them with the barbecue sauce on them. So I'm actually going to take part of them out and then do like a separate broiling step with some of them. My youngest is not having all the ingredients that are in the barbecue sauce quite yet. So I'm gonna leave some of them plain. Okay, so then I'm just going to take this. Kind of just brush it over them like that. And then to actually broil them, I'm just going to put them on a separate pan. And then I'm going to put my oven rack up to the top. And then I'll put them in there on that top rack. I'm going to leave the oven door open a little bit. And I'm going to 
turn it to broil on, on the highest temperature. And then we're gonna let them broil for like three, maybe four minutes. I'll check on them after three minutes and see where they're at. We don't want anything to start to burn. We just want that barbecue sauce to get kind of caramelized. The timer goes off, we'll pull them out and see how they're looking. Okay, there we go. All ready to enjoy. We're going to enjoy these for dinner tonight alongside some homemade carrot slaw. So this is just shredded carrots that I make a little homemade coleslaw dressing with. So it's mayonnaise, apple cider vinegar, either brown sugar, maple syrup, or honey. This time I did maple syrup. Some celery seeds, salt and pepper to taste. Just mix all that up together and have that with the shredded carrots. I've talked about that, that I love that as an alternative to coleslaw made with cabbage because I don't want a ton of raw cabbage for myself all the time. Just related to some thyroid history for myself. And then we're also having it alongside some potatoes fried in tallow. Okay, I hope that you enjoyed this recipe and I hope you give it a try. If you do, let me know how you liked it. Be sure and check out that description box for links to free ebooks and other goodies. I also have some meal plans down there. If you did like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with anybody else who you think would also like it. And if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I get out new videos every week on nourishing recipes and natural living. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.